Hi, my name is Robert Feranek, I'm from Fedevel Academy and in this video we are going to have a look at very simple method how you can replicate placement. And in this video we are going to use a schematic like this with four same blocks which we need to place into our PCB. And uh, you know, it may be very uh, helpful if you only do the placement for one of these blocks and then you use some um, magic to apply this placement on all these other three blocks so you don't have to manually place all the components, okay? You only place the components for this first block and you use magic to or apply same placement on all these other three blocks. So let's do it. Let's have a look how you can very simply replicate placement in your PCB. Before we continue, I would like to say all the credit goes to Karl Schatke. He told me about this technique. If you like, you can Google about Karl. He was also speaking on Altium Live conference. Thank you very much, Carl. Let's go back into our PCB and uh, as you can see, I have deleted the original placement. Only what left is the placement of the components from block one. If we go into schematic, these are the components from the block one. These are the components which we have placed here. And uh, this is the placement which we would like to apply also on all these other components. Uh, first, what we would like to do, we would like to uh, create unions. Uh, we will use unions to group the components uh, based on the blocks. So basically, if we go into schematic, we would like to create one union for block one inside of, of this union there will be all the components from the block one then we will create union for block two then for block three and also for block four uh, it's very simple to do uh, and uh, it's very easy to do when we have schematic and pcb open so what i'm going to do i'm going to split my window uh, be sure you have this cross select mode enabled. Uh, you need to see this blue frame around this icon. Go into PCB, PCB panel, here select unions. Okay. Now go into schematic and select all the components from this block one. Press left button, hold it down, select all these. In uh, PCB, all these components will be automatically selected. Now, right click on one of the selected components, unions, create union. Okay. If you go into PCB panel, when you left click on unions, here you will see the union, what we have just created. Uh, right click, select the rename, and we are going to call it block one. Okay, if you click on this uh, block one union, here you will see there are all these components which are here. A very similar, we are going to create union for block two. So press left button, hold it down, select all these components. They should be selected also here in PCB. Right click on one of the selected components, unions, create union. Okay, right click rename we are going to call it block two select all the components from block three right click unions create union okay right click rename block three and one more select right click unions create union and name it 
block for. Uh, we don't we don't need to see the schematic anymore, so I'm going to move this here. And we are going to double check the unions. Uh, have a look uh, at my setting, what I'm using here. Check select and check clear existing. Now, when I uh, left click on this block one, we should see all the components which belongs to block one, they should be selected. See, okay. When I left click on block two, these are all the components from block two. These are components from block three. And these are the components from block four. In the next step, we are going to uh, get the position and rotation of these components. This is the trick. Go to panels and use PCB list. Inside PCB list, view, left click here, selected objects, include, left click here, select display only, check component, OK left click on block one and in this list we should see all the components from block one now remember uh, you need to order this this list based on the designators so i'm going to left click here and left click again and also uh, we are going to work with this table so we don't want to have it in view mode right click and select this switch to edit mode. This is very important. Uh, we would like to select whole table. So right click, select all, and we would like to copy this table into Excel spreadsheet, or you can use also Google Sheets. So right click and uh, copy with header. I'm going to open Google Spreadsheet and Control V. Perfect. Uh, what we would like to do, we would like to copy also the position of the designators. So I'm going back into Altium. I'm going to move this little bit here. Unselect everything. I'm going to select these designators. Press Shift, hold it down, left click, left click, left click, left click. OK. And here, Edit selected objects include only text. Again, don't forget to uh, order this table. So left click here, left click, and I'm, I'm going to copy the whole table. So right click, select all, right click, copy with header, go into spreadsheet, and paste it here. Go to Altium and uh, what do you think, what we are going to do? We are going to move all these components uh, from block one. We are going to move them away from this location. And we will place all the components from block two into exactly same positions. How we are going to do it? We will use the table. So first, let's move these uh, components away. Uh, it's very simple because uh, we have created the unions. Uh, when you create the union, all the objects in union, they will stick together. So everything what you have to do is just uh, hover cursor over one of these components, press left button, hold it down and move it away. See, you are moving the whole union together. Now, let's click on block two. Uh, this will select all the components inside of the block two. We would like to see them here in this PCB list. So edit selected objects, include only left click check component. OK, here are all the components from block two. Uh, we would like to order these components. This is very important. So left click on designator, left click again. And we need to go into our table and we need to uh, copy and paste some of the values from the table. We need to copy and paste them here. 
what uh, values we need to copy and paste position of the components, the layer where the components are located, and the rotation of the components. So go into our spreadsheet. Uh, here is the layer where all where our components are located. They are all on top layer. So we are going to copy the layer. We are going to copy the X1 position and Y1 position. Left click here, press shift, hold it down, left click here. Control C, go into Altium. Uh, left click here into first row of the layer column and watch what is going to happen when we paste the values from the table here. So Control V, watch here, okay? See? All the components from block 2, now they have the correct uh, location. Only what is wrong is the rotation. So we need to go back into table. We need to copy the rotation column. Left click here, press shift, hold it down. Left click, control C, go to Altium. Find the rotation. Here it is, left click. And watch what is going to happen with these components. Control V. Perfect. Maybe what we would like to do, we would like to also place these the designators into same position as we have them here in the block one. Uh, you are going to help me. We are going to select the designators, left click, press shift, hold it down, left click, left, left. Select all of them. Now what? We would like to see them here in the PCB list. So edit, selected objects, include only, left click, check text, okay? We need to order these designators, left click, left click, go into table. This is our table uh, with position of the designators. All the designators, they are on top layer, uh, top overlay layer and the rotation is zero, so we don't have to copy these uh, two columns. Only what we need to copy is the position of the designators. So left click, press shift, hold it down, left click, control C, go into Altium, uh, left click here, and watch what is going to happen with the designators, control V. Perfect, see? Now the block two, it looks exactly the same as block one. Because uh, you understand how it works, uh, placing the components for block three is going to be very simple and very quick. First, move all these components from block two away. Select block three. Left click, check components. OK. Order the list, left click, left click, go to spreadsheet, copy the layer, X and Y position, Control C, go to Altium, Control V, go to spreadsheet, copy rotation, Control C, go to Altium and paste the rotation. We would like to uh, change also, or we would like to correct position of the reference designators. So select reference designators, change this to text, order the list, left click, left click, and copy position of the reference designators, control C, paste them here. We are going to do exactly same also for block four move block 3 away, left click on block 4, left click on text, component, OK, left click, left click, left click, press shift, hold it down, left click, control C, control V, press shift, control C, Control V, left click, select all the designators, left 
uh, order the designators and copy location we can close this PCB list uh, we can also hide this grid and we can place the blocks As you can see, very simple and very quick way how you can place components. Only what you need to be careful about is how you uh, name the component designators. Because, you know, when we order the components in PCB list, you need to be sure that, for example, the first component in uh, the list for block one if the first component is, for example, this one, then it has to be always first component for all the blocks. So when you order the PCB list for block 2, this component has to be also the first one. For block 3, also this component has to be the first one. Yeah? If this one is the fifth component in the list, then when you order the list for block 2, this component has to be the fifth in the list this one has to be fifth in the list okay so be careful how you name the designators for the components we are almost finished with this video if you would like to try this by yourself i have uploaded the files from this video uh, under federal github and uh, you will find this link in the description under this youtube video so you can go here, then uh, simply click here and download the zip, okay? So if you would like to try it, here are the files before I started doing the changes. And if you would like to see the final placement, the uh, finished project is here. So you can download it, you can open it in Altium and you can try it by yourself. That's uh, everything for today's video. Leave the comments. I'm really curious if you knew about this technique, okay? I would like to know if it was something new for you, if it was something useful for you. Um, yeah, that's basically everything. So if you like this video, please don't forget press like button. I would like to thank you very much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.